Welcome back to another reaction video. This one's to Red Velvet, Feel My Rhythm. Uh, the last K-pop band on my K-pop journey for right now. I know there's more, of course, but uh, this is just the ones I'm going to be doing. But for me, that's quite a lot. As I said, I wasn't... <laughs> K-pop was a big, big thing in the U.S. With, like, BTS and all that. I didn't... I don't really know BTS. I only know, like, two songs by them. But when... You know, when they were a big thing in the U.S., Blackpink were big. You know, all these K-pop bands were really big in the U.S. I didn't listen to them. I had friends who did. Um, you know, that was the type of music that they listened to. But I never got behind it. And I don't know, maybe it's just, maybe it was either because I was I was introduced to the wrong songs by K-pop. And maybe if I, you know, was introduced, like, Dreamcatcher by Dreamcatcher, like how I am now, I'd be more open to it. Um, but since I wasn't, you know, I'm getting to it pretty late and, you know, it's all fine. But at the same time, I wouldn't be able to do reaction videos to it because I would have just been probably like head deep inside like K-pop journey and everything. But since this is the last one we're going to talk about for Red Velvet, and then that doesn't mean we're going to get to other, we will get to other bands. It's just that these are going to be the ones that I focus on the most. So instead of seeing a whole new K-pop band, pop up, it would just be the ones that I did with more videos by them, get to know them. So I'm not overloading my brain with like 20,000 bands, if you understand that. But yes, let's, let's jump right into it. Birds water? Like a, almost like near a lake or something. Sounds like Cinderella-ish. Oh gosh. It sounds sort of Disney-like. Oh, I wasn't expecting that from her. Oh my god, the birds! Ooh! Ooh, I'll go back. Uh, this is quality is Why is it? Yeah, don't do that, please. We do here. We go all the way here. Oh, oh my god, but like look at the size of these birds. Oh my gosh. It's actually pretty good. I like I do like the chorus. And I did like how it started sort of with like nature sounds. Like that's one thing I really love about Dreamcatcher's scream song. It starts off with like birds chirping. And I really like how I I like when bands do that. So I really did like how this one was more environmental in the beginning. Um we need more songs to do that. Um, but yeah, it is, it is, once again, it's more softer, more sort of chill, and then in the chorus, it gets upbeat a little bit, you know, it has a little more energy, which I like, so it's good. Yeah, it has like a Disney vibe. But don't do that in like a bad way.
They both are really pretty eyes. But I do like this first visual of the video a lot. It is a lot of it is a lot of use of CGI, but for like some of the characters with the mask that would like sort of cut the make the action. Yeah, it seems like for like, to like the birds you can see environments well of it. But it, it feels sort of Disney-esque to me. See, with her, her, her vocals, I really thought that they were going to be deeper. Because like, when I saw her, I was like, oh my god, you have a, a deep voice. Ah, you know, member in this band. But she, her voice was pretty high. And I was like, wait. Well, so it threw me off and I like when stuff like throws me off as I said that's happened in the shiny video when in the when the chorus is about to kick in and the, and the chorus was like pulled back and I was like what and then the chorus like picked up and I was like ah oh. and I and I and I and I and I like how it like I like when stuff throws me off if that makes sense like not too much but I like when it throws me off a nice bit to where I I enjoy it. it's like a good draw you know what I mean so like that's what I like about like her like her seeing her like aesthetic just in that visual. I know that's not her like always look, but in the context of the song, I like how she looked like a sort of like a like a darker themed, themed character. And then you had her like how her voice was sort of high, and I was like, wow. Okay. But regardless, as I said, it was sort of more of a chill song, but it gave me like a Disney vibe, like a princess type vibe, Cinderella, Snow White type of thing. Well, not more Cinderella, more Snow White with the birds chirping. And then uh, it, just, it just felt like that to me. And yeah, I, I, I liked it. But my favorite, I think a line that I really liked was, what is it? Pride and prejudice got us nothing. I think that's what the line was, Some some similar to that. I really did like that line. I was like, that's a really deep line. So I really appreciate that. And that's one of my favorite lines that I've seen in a K-pop song from C recently. And I was like, ah, I really enjoy that. But yeah, I'm interested to see how they sound. Cause I, I know when I did Mama Moo, I did one of the songs that apparently wasn't, that was one of two styles of uh, like a genre, but like it wasn't like their typical sound. So I wonder, I'm, I'm wondering to see if all Red Velvet songs sounds like this. Um, but um, yeah, so I have for you. Thank you for watching.